Hi guys, uh, Dennis Garcia here, and um, <laughs> I really don't know where to start this video. Um, there has been a lot going on in my head for so long, and I've never really honestly talked about it until last night. And I think that it's really important to not only be honest 100% with yourself, but to be honest with your friends and family and the people around you. Um, as you guys know, I've been dealing with a lot inside of myself in regards to my stutter and my eight fingers um it has gotten to the point where like it's really frustrating to try and live a normal life and still maintain some sort of positivity when at times i can't even talk to people you know I can't hold a conversation with anybody I can't go on dates because of my stutter people don't understand the severity of my situation sometimes and I know like right now you guys are looking at me and you're listening to me and I'm not really stuttering and when I'm in front of a camera or around certain people I still stutter, you know, I still make mistakes when I talk, but being in, in front of the camera is where I feel most at home. It's where I feel like I'm able to be myself because there's nobody watching me at that moment. You know, I understand that tens or hundreds of people could potentially watch this and that doesn't really make me nervous. Whereas if tens or hundreds of people were in front of me, sitting behind the camera watching me. Um, so when I'm alone, I feel more comfortable talking to you and don't really have that issue where I stutter as much as I usually do. Um, whereas if I'm with like my family or like my cousins or friends or coworkers or at work or on date, it's hard to try to control how I talk because it's not something that I can control. It's something that honestly is out of my control. And yesterday, while I was at work, I was on a, a 10 hour shift and it was just a fucking day. It was a fucking day and the customers were being rude, the people at my job were being assholes and it's just like everything that could go wrong, would go wrong. And then on top of that, my anxiety was at an all time high. I was like stuttering like crazy through all of my calls. And I just thought to myself, I'm done. I, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to see what's in the next life. <laughs> I'm ready to just kind of end it all. I am exhausted. I'm tired. I'm frustrated, I'm stressed, and on top of adding the fact that I have eight fingers, a stutter, and not generally happy with my life, I have all these like stresses and bills and stupid little shit that is what adulting is. And for the first time in my life, I contemplated suicide. And it's not really something that I've ever thought I would go through. <sighs> it's not something that I would go through with, I don't think. It was just in that moment and for a few hours yesterday, yesterday that I just, <sighs> I was just exhausted. I was tired. Um, 
and it's like still really hard to talk about because like I still feel it I still feel tired and I still feel exhausted of just life in general and a lot of people tell me like you're blessed you know you have a family that loves you and understands you and yeah like that's great but to still have this thing that I have to live with for my entire life it bothers me you know it bothers me that I can't change that I can't stop stuttering that I can't change this you know while my eight fingers doesn't really affect my personal life I can still drive I can still do every single thing that a person with ten fingers would it still bothers some because Still in 2019, people don't have common sense and they don't, they lack understanding and they lack empathy. And you know, people still ask me questions about my eight fingers, and people will look at me funny when I stutter. <sighs> and it's like after a while, it gets tiring. It gets tiring of having to explain to people over and over again why it is that you talk the way you talk or why you have eight fingers. And it's like, I wish I had a fucking sign or like a little info button that you can just like click on when you see me out in the street and just like read a bio about me and not fucking bother me with these questions because I have explained these questions so many times and it's, it's getting tiring. And I don't know. I feel like people are ignorant a lot of the times, and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like, I just feel like I'm tired and exhausted of life. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have a really, really dark sense of humor. So when I say these kind of things, I don't necessarily mean that I'm like, I wanna kill myself. I have a very dark sense of humor. Like, I will literally sit and tell you in front of your face, like, I'm ready for the next life. I am done with this life. I am ready to return this life that I was given. And I'm joking most of the time, except for yesterday when it got a little bit too real and a little bit too scary. <sighs> and um, I don't know. I feel like I never had to deal with mental health issues because I've always been very good at keeping them to myself and I've always been I don't I don't want to say I've been good at keeping it to myself because it's something that's been bothering me for such a long time um and I got to the surface now where like I was angry all the time I was frustrated all the time I would come home and like I wouldn't talk to my parents, I wouldn't talk to my brothers, I wouldn't talk to my sister-in-law. I closed myself off because I was frustrated at the fact that I couldn't talk. I was frustrated at myself that I had to deal with every single day. And it's not easy. And I had a conversation with my mom and my brother and my sister-in-law. And we, were, we just kind of talked things out, out openly and, and honestly because we don't really do that in my family. We don't really talk about our feelings or what's going on in our lives. And I think that's important. I think that's important as a family. You know, they, they've known you your whole life. You know, they know things that nobody else does. You have this like really special bond with them, but yet, you hide these dark things that you don't want anybody to know and there's nothing wrong with people knowing your your dark secrets because everybody has them everybody has a dark secret everybody has a stress everybody has something that they're going through and if we don't talk about it and we're not open about it we can't be there for each other and not necessarily in the way like to help because I know that my issues cannot be helped. I'm gonna live with a stutter my entire life. I'm gonna live with my eight fingers my entire life. But the fact that I have a support system there that loves me and accepts me is something that I've taken for granted for 
a very long time and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be happy and I want to say I don't fucking care if I have a stutter and eight fingers. I don't give a shit. I'm going to talk and I'm going to enjoy life and I, I want to change that because yesterday was a very, very, very dark time for me. And I, I don't want to go back there. I've never gone there. <laughs> so the fact that I was, I don't want to say I was close to attempting suicide, but I contemplated it. It was a thought in my head. And like, I don't know, it was weird. I was at my job, at my desk, just finished talking to an asshole customer on the phone. And then like, my whole body just went numb. Like my entire body went numb. And I just had this thought of like, I could do it right now and jump off the 10th floor and I could just end it all. And I was okay with it. And honestly, if I'm being 100% fucking honest with you guys, if I knew that I was going to die today, I would be okay with it. I would be okay with dying today. Not necessarily like killing myself, but like if for some dumb chance of luck I got run over or something happened to me or some fucked up accident happened and I died, I would be okay with it. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I feel like for a long time I was afraid of death and I was afraid of the afterlife in a sense. I don't know. I feel like at a certain point in your adult life, you just learn to let go of those fears and to embrace them, dark, humorous or not. It's a part of life and we all deal with these aspects of life in our own way. I have a really dark sense of humor, guys, and sometimes it comes across as suicidal. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Um, but it's how I deal with my frustration. It's how I deal with the fact that I have these issues that are never going to go away. And I'm finally willing to accept it and to just be happy. Because I've spent 27 years, almost 28 years of my life being unhappy with the things that I can't change, that I can't that I can't change. Um, yeah. Yesterday was a fucking day, and today is a new fucking day. <laughs> and um, yeah, guys, mental health is important. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that, and. I've brushed it off. I was like, yeah, just deal with it, you know? Drink a beer, have a shot, watch some porn, eat some fucking fast food and just deal with it. But until you are at the brink of suicide, you really start thinking, fuck, mental health is important. And I, you don't know until you experience. You really don't know until you're there. I look fucking disgusting. <laughs> um, yeah. Mental health is important, guys. Um, I'm gonna go now. I, I'm sorry for this really sad video. But upside is that I'm still here. I didn't kill myself, so 10 points for me, right? <laughs> we can continue on living this amazing life. Um, I'm, I'm, that's another dark joke. Another dark joke, guys. I make dark jokes. Screw, fuck it. It's who I am. Um, I don't want to make these types of videos, but at the same time, it's a part of my life and it's a part of my whole journey in my life. 
and even though like most of my YouTube videos are me complaining about the fact that I don't have a boyfriend, um, how unhappy I am with life, how fat I am, <laughs> um, these are all a part of what makes me me, what makes me who I am. And uh, I feel like it's important to document and to film and to be open and honest because I don't know, this might help somebody in the future. Um, it might shed some light on being a more kinder, more sympathetic human. Um, I don't know. I'm going to start being more open and honest and enjoy my life a little bit more. But uh, I'm going to go shower because I'm dirty and my hair is really fucking gross. And I am going to go. So with that being said, I hope that you guys are having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.